Parasympathomimetic drugs, effects and uses. इनको हम इस तरह से देखेंगे कि किस organ के ऊपर कौन से receptors present हैं, वो क्या pharmacological effects produce करते हैं and what are the clinical uses or the adverse effects. So talking about brain, uh, M1 receptor and nicotinic receptors are present in brain, both of which are responsible for excitation of CNS. Clinically, varenicillin is a partial agonist hota hai nicotine receptors pe, which is used for smoking cessation because this smoking ki craving ko decrease karta hai. Also, um, rivastigmine, donepezil, acetylcholine strays inhibitor drugs hoti hai, which increase the concentration of acetylcholine in the brain and are used for treatment of Alzheimer's disease. High concentration mein, these drugs can cause seizures or hallucinations. In the eye, M3 receptors are present which cause contraction of the ciliary muscle and circular muscle of the iris. Meiosis hoga, accommodation reflex uh, hogi, focus for near vision hoga, there is stimulation of the lacrimal gland and the aqueous humor drainage improves which causes a decrease in the intraocular pressure that is the basic clinical use in glaucoma. It causes conjunctival congestion and um, increased lacrimation which are with the basic side effects. Heart, M2 receptors are present in kind of from a pharmacological effect, it decrease in rate conduction and contractility. Hai. Technically, they can be used for tachyarrhythmias, but they are obsolete. Ho gaye hai. So, they can cause bradycardia if they are overdosed. Blood vessels also have M3 receptors, but interestingly, low doses will act on the endothelial M3 receptors and cause release of nitric oxide, which causes vasodilation. Like in high doses will cause smooth muscle contraction by stimulation of M3 receptors in the smooth muscles and vasoconstriction will occur. In the lungs, M3 receptors are present which cause bronchoconstriction and increase bronchial secretions. This is never a clinical use. In fact, it causes bronchospasm which causes difficulty in breathing. In the gastrointestinal system, M3 receptors are present which cause increase in the peristalsis, increased defecation and increase in secretions. This can be a clinical use in patients who have constipation, Hirschsprung disease or paralytic ileus. Bethanicol or neostigmine we use in these cases. In otherwise normal patients, it can cause diarrhea because of increased peristaltic movement. Similarly, in the urinary bladder, M3 receptors are present which cause contraction of the detrusor, relaxation of the trigone and increased voiding. This is useful in neurogenic bladder and autonomic neuropathy. Again, bethanicol and neostigmine are used. This can cause urinary incontinence in otherwise normal patients. Exocrine glands such as the salivary glands and the sweat glands, they also have the M3 receptors. They cause increase in the secretions. So there is increased sweating and increased salivation. In patients who have decreased sweating, which is called, which is called anhydrosis, they can be used and also in patients who have decreased salivation such as Sjogren and post radiation therapy. At the neuromuscular end plate, we have the nicotinic M receptors which cause activation of the neuromuscular end plate resulting in muscle contraction and fasciculations. Clinically, it is useful for treatment and diagnosis of myasthenia gravis. Diagnosis ke liye hum adrophonium use karenge aur treatment ke liye hum neostigmine deenge. It is also useful for symptomatic management of snake venom poisoning. As a side effect, muscle fasciculations ho sakti hain, seizures and spasms bhi ho sakte hain.